the um, second part of the tutorial. I feel like... Yeah... I'm scenario. I mean, yeah... Having my own zoo is more fun. I guess this is still tutorial. I mean, tutorial took a while. And I don't want to do tutorial anymore. We'll, we'll see the, what is this. Wow. Welcome to Madagascar. It's quite the change of scenery from dreary old England, huh? <laughs> Apart from the weather, I suppose. They don't call these places rainforest for nothing. <laughs> the zoo you'll be working in is an ape sanctuary where we're doing vitally important conservation work, not just for apes, but for all kinds of species. But apes, well, this is very apes pretty. Are some of the closest relatives to humans there are. And yet, the way the world treats them is like, well, very much like some of us treat our actual relatives. <laughs> anyway, that's why I'm determined that our operation here does some good. If we can all leave some part of the world in a better state than we found it, we'll have lived lives worth living. And speaking of states, I have a horrible feeling I left the house in the right one. <laughs> when I get back, I expect my life won't be worth living at all. <laughs> I don't know what that means. What do you think of Madagascar then? Bit warm for my tastes, to be honest. Anyway, this is Bernie's primate sanctuary. It's not just primates, though. We've got all sorts of animals. So why don't we go and have a look at some of them, eh? We'll start by taking a look at the red ruffed lemurs. They're the ones that look like they should be in a Shakespeare play. <laughs> Come on, let's head over to them. Guys, I can't, I can't move. Oh, red ruffed lemurs are found in the rainforests of Masuala, that's in northeast Madagascar. They can actually live anywhere from 15 up to 25 years. Fancy that, eh? Okay, when you're ready, let's go find our Borneo orangutans. Oh. The Bornean orangutan is such a marvelous creature. They're always a big favorite at any zoo they feature in, and they're also the biggest tree dwelling animal on the planet. <laughs> Assuming you don't count any lions that got stuck up one. Oh, why don't you take a better look at them? Open up their information panel and go into the animal camera. Aren't they just incredible? When you're ready, let's go and have a look-see at some of our beautiful bonobos. <laughs> They're quite the characters. Looks like we've arrived just in time. One of the habitat's barriers has collapsed. Has collapsed. Know is one of the bonobos has made a run for it. We'll need to catch them. But before we do, we should box up the other bonobos to stop them escaping too. Select the habitat boundary to bring up the habitat information panel. Good. Now open the animals tab and click on box all animals to box up the remaining bonobos. Now, we'll need a vet to recapture that escaped bonobo, but it seems our last one left to do some research in the wild. Not an ideal situation. So, we'll need to hire a replacement, sharpish. Go into the zoo section, and then into the staff management area. You can find all of your staff in here, but there's no time to go looking at their particulars at the moment. 
Hire a vet. Hire a vet. Um, 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 um. Ah, wait. Now, click on one of the paths to place the vet in your zoo. Great. Now, let's deal with our SKP before they can cause too much havoc. Use the animal alerts to jump to the escaped bonobo. I see. And then, click on the call vet button to call the vet over to capture it. Oh. Oh, okay, that's a relief. <laughs> so while the vet deals with our bonobo friend, let's go fix up their habitat so they can't escape again. Head back over there. Um, wait, is that what I'm supposed to be doing? As you can see, the barrier's collapsed. Someone's taken their eye off the ball, obviously. Let's get this one replaced. Select the barrier and then we'll edit it. Delete the broken section of barrier and replace it with a brand spanking new one. I need delete. I see the delete button. Uh, press delete. Oh, press delete. I don't know. I pressed delete. But it didn't work. I don't understand. Outside placement. Am I only looking at this one? Good. Now that we've done that, we need to make sure to add climb proof barriers to the top. That way the bonobos won't be able to climb out. Just make sure you've got the correct piece of barrier selected when you do that. Okay, so go into the options section and select which side the climb-proof barrier needs to go on. And don't get it wrong. <laughs> We're more worried about bonobos climbing out than guests climbing in. Um, I feel like it is important to, uh, learn about this. Um, uh, you have to do? Make the boundary climb proof. Oh, we just want to make it. Perf. It turns out that as well as the old vet leaving, the zoo's mechanics did too. We'll need to hire a couple of new ones so we can help stop any more breakouts. You see, mechanics do all sorts of helpful things around the zoo, but one of their most important jobs is taking care of the habitat barriers. <laughs> Without mechanics around to repair them, the barriers will crack, crumble and fall down. And before you know it, we'll be overrun with escaped animals. 
Go into the zoo section and then into the staff management area again. Hire a mechanic and then click on a path to place them in the zoo. And then click on the path again to hire a second mechanic. As you can see, you don't have to go back into staff management if you're hiring lots of the same type of staff member. Oh, gosh, we have been busy, haven't we? Good work there. I'm off for a cuppa. Oh, I think Bernie wants a word with you. Comes out to me. Oh, I hear you had a bit of an issue with an escape bonobo. The main thing is that you dealt with it swiftly. And more importantly, without the animals stealing someone's clothes, putting them on, and then walking out of the front gate. You see, another key responsibility for our vets is animal research. Researching animals allows vets to unlock new enrichment items, additional information for our education resources, enhanced breeding programs, and improvements to food quality. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the animal's food, not the vet's. It'll take more than a research grant to improve the staff canteen. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, research is a key part of running your zoo. In order for a vet to undertake research, they require a research centre. <laughs> right here. And once again, that's something that this zoo is missing. So let's build one. I've marked out an area for you to put it. Now, you've probably noticed that there's already a building where I want you to build the research centre. Don't worry. You see, the building that's currently there is actually a hollow shell. So we're able to place our new building inside of it. If you select the research center for placement and then hover over the shell, you'll see that it asks if you want to add the research center to the existing building. Okay, click to add it to the building. Oh, but that won't place it in just yet though. First, we'll need to rotate our research center so it automatically connects to the path when we place it. Thanks. Thanks. We're stuck. For some reason. No! Ah, what the heck? Splendid work! Now that we have a brand spanking new research center, we can give our vets something to do in there. Oh, by the way, it's worth noting that the vets will only do research when they're not required to do any other jobs. That said, you can change what jobs a vet does via their information panel. But let's not worry about that just now. So, let's get our vet researching ringtail lemurs. Go into the zoo section and select vet research. So like vet research. Oh, is it this? Here, you can see a list of all the animals present in your Hello. zoo. And also Hello. all the potential diseases that Ouch. can occur. Now, drag and drop your vet onto the ring-tailed lemur to start their research. Now, lemur. Oh, this... I guess it's good to uh, drag my vet onto it. Where's my vet? Oh, is this... Actually, thinking about it, I'm not sure we've got any education boards or speakers by the lemur's habitat. Let's head over there and add some, so our guests can learn all about the furry little delights. First off, let's pop down two education boards. Place them on the habitat barriers at a height that guests can see, or, if you like, pop them down on a stand. Like right here. Oh, facility. Vacation board. Thanks. Oh, this one. Visual media. Is 
Is this correct? Why is it flat? It's looking upward. <laughs> okay, now that they've been put into position, we have to tell them what animal to display information about. <laughs> Select one of the education boards to bring up its information panel. And from the drop down list, select Ring Tailed Lemur. Although I'm sure that last part was obvious. When you link an education board or a speaker to an animal, you need to make sure that said animal is close by. If it isn't, the guests will get confused and won't learn as much. Alliance surface. Turn on alliance surface. Uh, where? Where's Align Surface? Wait, what do I have to do now? The speakers? Odds. That's what I mean. What's the... Speakers? Wait, what are we doing right now? Surface. This one is a line or something. I actually don't know. Had this one already turned on. Oh, have okay. Now that we've done the education boards, let's pop down a pair of speakers. Speakers play audio to the guests so they can learn while they look at the animals instead of having to go through the laborious process of reading. Oh, one thing to bear in mind is that it's important not to put the speakers too close together. If you do, the guests won't be able to understand what's being said. Now we simply need to link the speakers to the ring-tailed lemurs, just like you did with the education board. Okay, so how to find the speakers? You know about Attack on Titan? Yeah. What about it? I didn't even find the other speaker. It's literally like on the floor somewhere. Fantastic! Oh, it's worth remembering that education boards and speakers both need power to work. They won't do much good without it. Oh. Oh, it looks as though our vet has completed their research on ring-tailed lemurs. We'll need to collect the results. We can do that by clicking on the notification or by going back into the vet research area. <laughs> Go on, collect your research rewards. Just so you know, vets will continue to research an animal even after successfully completing a research level. 
I suppose when you're in the zone, you're in the zone. Well, now that we've enriched the lives of our guests, let's enrich the lives of our ring-tailed lemurs. Some animals, like lemurs, will have a climbing need. That means they have a requirement for a certain amount of climbing space, and you can fulfill that requirement by building them a climbing frame. Let's find out how much more climbing space our lemur friends need, shall we? Select one of them and bring up their information panel. Next, click on the Terrain tab. Ah, now, as you can see, the lemurs need quite a lot more climbing space. But as it happens, I've already got a climbing frame blueprint built for you. So you can either pop that down or build one yourself from scratch. By the way, it's not always just climbing needs that you have to worry about. Other animals might need a certain amount of water in their habitat so they can go for a swim. <laughs> they certainly do keep us on our toes. I mean... I mean fun. Oh, that's a great climbing frame for them. They're going to absolutely love it. Um, Do you know what would make them even happier, though? How much did you watch? Food. But that's true of all of us, though, isn't it? Mm. You can unlock better quality food for animals through research. Luckily, we've already unlocked some for the lemurs, so all that remains is to make sure they get served it from now on. Let's bring up the habitat information panel by selecting the lemur habitat. Oh. Special toy. Enrichment. Yeah, it looks like they don't want this. Wait, let me check the, the chat. Watch the point where Armin became a titan then stopped. Armin. Ah. Uh, Ar. 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 Ar Arwen? Mm, I think I also watched a bunch. Um. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I don't like too many people dying. Like if you like a character, you know, boom, they might die other than the main character. I liked it in the first season. It's like, oh, really cool and stuff. But then later, it's just too much dying. So yeah, I did pick it up because um, my friend was recommending it. So we play. So we watched together, but then after that, um, didn't, didn't do, didn't finish after. Um, uh, good quality to grade two. Good quality to grade two. What is this? Food. Enrichment. <clears throat> Habitat <Everything. coughs> The heater cooler Food and water Water Heating station Is it like this one? That would you Already Uh Do I don't really know how you do that. 
How do you upgrade their foot quality? Yeah, yeah. Oh, here, this one. Oh, this one. So, a new climbing frame and better food. Oh, you've really spoilt those lemurs rotten. <laughs> now, I think it's time we looked at one of the zoo's most important responsibilities. Releasing animals into the wild. You see, when we feel an animal is ready, we can release them into the wild. But what makes an animal a good candidate for release? Well, their age is an important factor. I mean, we can't release an animal that's a juvenile, just as we can't release one that's gotten too old. They'll also need to be fertile. After all, the idea is to repopulate the wild, so the best candidates will have a high fertility gene. And together, the age and fertility of a candidate will determine how many conservation credits we'll be rewarded when we release them. Now, conservation credits are vitally important. They're the lifeblood of your zoo, because earning them allows you to adopt even more animals. And what's more, the animals you can adopt will be of a higher quality. So, with that in mind, let's pop over to our orangutan habitat. Okay, I'd like you to find Ageng, the Bornean orangutan in the habitat, and select him, please. You can either click through each orangutan in turn, or select the habitat barrier, go to the animals tab in the habitat information panel, and find him in the animals list. Mm. Ah, here. Wrong animal. I know it's sad to see him go, but he'll be happy out in the wild. And he's a wonderful candidate for release. Young, strong, and fertile. Excellent work there. You've definitely got potential, you know. Yes. Ah, I see you've been doing some homework. Although, it hardly seems like work when you're learning about something as adorable as a ring-tailed lemur. I imagine I'd have got much better grades at school if there'd been less algebra and more aldebra. Tortoises. Okay, so far we've done a lot of work with habitat animals. But hey. now it's time to learn all about exhibit animals. Let's build a brand new exhibit. I've marked an area for our new exhibit. How about we head over there? Lovely. Now let's build a new exhibit in the gap that's been left. Just add it to the building like we did with the research center earlier. Then pop it into the gap. Pop it into the gap. How do you pop it into the gap? Oh. If you could start war with mean a certain race of people, would you do it? Uh. Perfect. The next thing to do is adopt an I think that's what people always next. use as How an excuse to, to start Open war. Up the exhibit trading section and adopt one. Just as we do with habitat animals, we need to send the healer monster to the exhibit. Click on the exhibit to send it there. When you send an animal to an exhibit, it'll automatically be given the correct setup. But that doesn't mean it's completely ready for them. So let's finish it off. We'll start by adding some enrichment items. Click on the exhibit to bring up its information panel. Good. Now click on the layout tab. Oh. Well, it looks like we've only got the Enrichment Level 1 items unlocked at the moment. Never mind, let's turn on at least one of them for the Healer Monster. 
As I'm sure you know by now, you can unlock more enrichment levels by having one of your vets oh, do some raining. research. Now we'll also need to set the temperature and humidity in the exhibit. These are vitally important for keeping our healer monster happy and comfortable. Click on the climate tab. Here you can see the healer monster's desired temperature and humidity. You can change both of these by adjusting the dials below. Make sure it's going to be nice and cozy. I mean, that's why um, it's hard to watch um, at the end. I guess you don't feel like you're doing the right thing. Ticket? And the last thing we need to look at is setting up the different windows. So click on the Windows tab. Oh, wait. What is in here? It just looks like wooden surface. Is there an animal inside? You can edit and customize any of the windows Work on an exhibit. A window can be closed and blank or have a two-dimensional background or even a three-dimensional background on it. Why don't you have a play around with the options? What? Mm. Didn't pay attention. <laughs> what she's saying? Oh, here, this one. There's also an exhibit education board. Pop them down near your exhibit to teach your guests about them. Let's add one now. That's, um... That's that's very wrong. I mean that's that's why there's so many wars because people think they can Just quote unquote the stop war by speakers we put down other the ring tailed lemurs, you'll need to link these to the healer monster. I Go on. Lovely stuff. Healer now our guests monster. can learn all about our venomous friend here. Venomous. Right. Now, At least they are uh, real animal names. I need you to increase the At number least I can of species learn in the zoo. Animal name. You'll probably want to adopt both habitat and exhibit animals to do so, which will mean building plenty of new habitats and exhibits for them. Go on, off you pop. I'll check in with you when you're almost done. Wait, I'm gonna... I'm gonna adopt a lot of animals? Oh, yikes. Have uh, at least twelve species in the zoo. Yikes! Does it mean I'm gonna use like all these patches of land to do so? Wow, that's so cool. Um, I don't know. Hope this is a big area. <laughs> is this connected? Wait, are these the different species? Has been in box for too long? Oh no. Um, box.
How do I unbox? Oh, where is it? Enrichment. Yikes, um, Emma. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Me deal with this. Uh, I want enrichment. Uh, special food. This one. Yeah. The pick is so tiny. Special toy. Oh, I, I think they don't want these. These are animal. All noble. All noble. Really musical keyboard? <laughs> See you later, go into another stream. Okay, okay. Sounds good. Uh, I need to go back to uh, building the habitat of um, other animals. Best chimpanzee. Mm, how do I know what animals I have? Species. I guess I need to buy some. This thing expired. Invalid destination. Wait, how come I cannot? And Bono. Is it because it's not enclosed? I can't really see. Adopted for cash. Cannot be released. Valid destination. I don't know.
Mentro. I feel like they are gonna be very mad. I don't know why doesn't work. At least twelve species. Tell Daimler. Press Champion B. On their back end, add an exhibit middle of the road or I wonder if it's because um, the one I built is not connected to the path. Oh my god, I feel so dizzy. The bit trading. I need to have a habitat first. Facilities. Thing was pretty. Yikes, oh, cockroach. All species in the world. Wait, where is it? I don't know where I put it. Oh. I can't find the exhibit. Yeah. I 
don't know. Is it this one? This exhibit? I don't know where it is. Low welfare. I'm just trying to uh, finish the. The stress and trying to hide. Pooping a lot. Something for it to hide or would it be rocks? Area habitat structure. The thing with trees is like probably a uh, specific things to where where is the facility is my question. Let me see if I can find This one. Um, what do I have to find? Me? Humidity. Is it better now? Temperature. <laughs> Stay <laughs> out. Maintenance. Oh, wandering, acting. Hold up by the time. If I request.
I wonder if this is the um, worker area. So for this guy, poor guy, he's a uh, winning. Yes, that's not too. Uh, Richmond. I have. Ten. Um, the thing is, obviously, I want. Hmm. The thing is, I don't expand this. Can I? I mean, this is like such a big area. How do you make bridges and blueprint? Habitat Barriers Construction Wars Flights Sign Bobs Special effects Okay, I actually have no idea how to expand more area I don't even know where... Oh, the paths is... Staff I think that's the staff. I probably need the staff Even painting abled. Oh, thought I was researching this guy. Environment. It's like even living in a. It likes this. It likes this. 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 Wait, where is that? Little. This. Oh, 
have a swimming head. Okay, you want enrichment. Let me uh, look for some enrichment. So oh, this one is called the uh, Patch. Okay. Uh, special food. Happy now. I'm, I'm surprised. That has not attended long time. Uh, and that's Mandrill. Oh, this one. What happened to the vet? Oh, he's low welfare again. He is stressed and trying. So you wanna hide? Is it better now? This kid doesn't like the rock idea. <laughs> uh, I mean, they say that when it's stressed, change it to one sided, one sided barrier. Better? Available food is low. Oh, is it better now? <laughs> I think it, it likes to... 
when it comes out that it is not happy. Just the hip. Oh, where is the hip? Oh, oh, is this one? Oh. Oh my. I'm tired. Uh, a lot of things not not sure what's going. On. And what's um that we do with our at least twelve species? So I guess let me check. Or good time. How do I don't know if I have the option? I tried to uh her species, but it doesn't seem like it's working. Wait. Where's the other one at? Oh, this one is stressed. They're really depressed. I don't know. There's a lot of people. Oh, mate. Bad people. Because I don't know this animal. Tropical. And like this plant on his are you are going can't seem to select. Bit less uh, traffic. Mountain. Like this? Feel less less now? I think you can find it.
red rough <gasps> man drill beamer What's the one next? Next. Anyways. Okay, I need to. We need to hire another person. Oh my god, so much work. I tried to connect to it, but it's kinda hard. Is this even have a Fix keep facing wrong direction? <laughs> Added barrier. <sighs> I'm tired. I don't want to play this in. the gate I'm tired. I'm gonna pause.